Hi, I'm NJ. I, along with my documentary crew, have been pondering, is it possible to make an entertaining movie for dogs? To answer this question, we set out, did some research on our own, asked others for their advice, and met with experts so we could attempt to make a dog tale. Can we make a movie for dogs? Or will we be sent to the doghouse? What would you want in a movie you were watching? Yeah, yeah. Lots of treat, <laughs> lots of treats and cookies. Film a piece of steak. They definitely love chasing things. Probably little squeaky noises. Throw a whole bunch of balls and then have a whole bunch of dogs chasing the balls <laughs> and see how they act that way. Do you think your TV would be safe if we did that? No. Bear, what do you think you would like in a movie? Some water, maybe. A beach. I don't know, my dog likes to watch like Animal Planet and stuff. Ooh, I would say other dogs or like little rodents. <laughs> Maybe some frisbees for my dog. <laughs> I don't know. We saw your dog earlier doing some great catching. Way to go, man. All right. Oh, <laughs> Yo, sit down, buddy. <laughs> uh, okay, get it down. Off battle wounds already, so hopefully we'll just. <laughs> Just survive, all right. We then met with animal experts to better understand dogs' cognitive and behavioral abilities and for some advice. So it seems like if you've got something there that is of interest to, on the screen to the audience as well, you kind of, it, it's a win. Yeah. Because you had to please the humans too. Well. Because the dogs you're never gonna know. <laughs> I hardly care about the humans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is all about the dogs. It's all about the dogs. If you're going at it to entertain the animals, it probably kind of would fizzle. For the dog to like, you know, sit on the couch and like watch the movie, it is not in their, it's not, they're not wired that way. They're not wired to be entertained like we are. I've had several dogs, in fact, I've had a lot of dogs around TVs in my life, and in general, they don't respond much at all. The, the major sense a dog uses is really scent. Mm -hmm. They know their world through their scent. But you have to remember that they're integrating what they smell and what they hear with what they see. In terms of uh, the visual things I would use, color is really not important at all, but contrast. So I would look for things with motion and things that are really would have a lot of contrast. So picture a white ball moving on a black screen or something might be more engaging to a dog than a picture of a dog with lower contrast on the screen. Got to have some visual stimulation to pick up on it. The noise will be your first, your first thing. I'm really interested to see how you guys engage the dogs. Okay, so I think we've got a good plan. Now we just have to go out and shoot it. Yeah. When shooting, we looked for a variety of animals that would get a dog's attention. If we can get this baby fox. Okay. Do you guys see the animals? We're just trying not to fall off. Oh, there he is! <gasps> fox. Do not see a fox here, take the camera. Oh, I see it. Wait, wait, hold on. Where's he at? Originally, we intended to color correct the movie to be in dog vision, which is red-green colorblind. However, we soon realized that a dog's brain would naturally adjust to see in this way. So instead, we took Professor Jaco's advice and incorporated high contrast into each shot. Three of our friends agreed to have their dogs be the first to view a dog tail, 
and to see if our hard work was able to captivate their canine companions. watch it. Yeah, he watches like TV and stuff. Yeah, whenever we're watching movies in my room, we just, any, really any scene, it doesn't even have to be any animals or mm -hmm. anything. Just as anything moving or kind of sounds that he hears from the TV, he stares at it. No, I've never seen him watch any particular shows and we don't leave the TV on for him when we're at work or anything, but I think he definitely would. I'd like to see something that would keep her entertained. <laughs> I think she could. To see a greater variety of dogs' reactions, we posted the video to YouTube. Now is your chance to see if your dog will respond to our movie. A Dog Tale, a movie for dogs, will be screening right after the credits. So get your cameras ready and stay.